Alright, so this is the killing floor, the 2009 hit of survival horror game, or co-op one especially. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, revisiting this masterpiece. Like this game, this is, was my go-to game at the time. When it came, I mean, look at this, just how satisfying it is to get those headshots, you know. Absolutely insane. They are, in fact, playing Sharpshooter, which is, gives us, you know, the whole point of this build is just to just freaking hit the headshots, you know, just go for headshots and you're good, you know. I mean, look at this, you can just instantly see how much, how well this game runs. Well, it's a fairly old game as well, but... Hell, has he been out in the sun too long? We really made it. Also have a hand me. cannon for us, which is literally for our class. We could find like maybe an armor or something. Be great. And there's that time, which is like slow motion and whatnot. The shop is open, boys. Come get me. And then you have a shop where you can after a wave you can uh, go buy weapons. Mm. So it is. It's all in Queen's money, British pounds. Oh, yes. So we Not have. Not enough dosh for that one, hun. For our. You'll need more money for that piece. Dual hand cannons. I think they do have. If I sell this, they have the golden one. Mm. Not, you Not, e Not enough dosh. You're joking, right? So Your here's skin. the weapons. Uh, let's have a look. Probably should purchase that as a crossbow. Probably not very fun to use, I imagine. Uh, lever action. A golden one just looks absolutely badass. Let's get that. Uh, let's not get armor. My mic could actually like, come across it or something, you know? So let's not waste money on that and just fill money, fill the ammo. Even in the ammo wise as well, you could save that as well, like there's like scattered around to help you out so you can save money to buy better weapons, you know, but really speaking, uh, at the time of a game, like when it came, came out released, I was like nothing more but just a, good job. a child, like I, I was like around like 12 years old or 13, something like that, and I remember it just if maps, especially like these, would be absolutely terrifying to play at, you know? Like there's uh, invisible women with uh, jiggling milkies coming after you as well. Like that. We have one of these guys as well shooting fire. I just oh, headshot at him. I'm kind of getting myself in the corner here, but it's all good. I'm ready and waiting. Watch where you are. This game does have music as well, but I have it turned off because it just it just gets I like the big ones, don't you? Way too repetitive, to be honest. And so, like maps, especially like these. Like at the time when I was a child, I would be absolutely terrified to play because of just how, uh, you know, scary it was. I mean, like listen to this, to the ambience, to the atmosphere, you know, it just, it would just freak you the hell out. You just want to quit, right? So that's really how it was to me. It was uh, absolutely scary. Guns? You, you ain't got the money for that one, babe. Like, but unfortunately, like I somehow still managed to like kind of force myself to play it and like get the braver so I can, you know, play because I, I just love the gameplay. I just absolutely love the gameplay, you know? And so I played it and I played it. I tried to force myself to to, uh, to play it because it, it just nails the gameplay aspect, you know? It's just, it's just that good. I mean, I don't know, like, in terms of innovation, like, what did Killing Core did, like, like, Wave system probably wouldn't be, like, probably, you would argue Call of Duty World of War did something like that first, who knows, you know? Who would, whoever developed these sort of things. Here's our level. 
level rifle. Probably has some firepower behind it. And, but in terms of like waves, like when they end, what did they really innovate? Maybe They're guns, boys. With the, you know what with to the do fact with them. there's a shop, you can go buy some guns, a shop, but you could say, you know, oh, it's probably it's copied from Counter Strike or something, you know, because when the round ends, you know, and stuff like that. But it's a. How can you compare them to? It's like completely different games. But we try you now to see like what's original, what what makes you know, I'm see when stand out from other games, for example. And as Boomer right there could say, you know, it's been it's been taken from uh, Left 4 Dead because he does shoot like kind of spit at you. The hand cannon is absolutely insane. They are in fact playing this on easiest difficulty, matter of fact. Um, so because we are playing solo, and just look at these reload animations. Like for example, the 9mm tactical. Shop will open soon, lads. Hit this way. Just the reload dev, you know, it just... Damn it! Invisible bitch again! Oh! Damn. Well, you cannot really do much here in terms of bodies or like shoot them. It just it's just static. The uh, shop is open, boys. Come get me. Background. Is there any no armor for us? Finding armor in this is huge. I believe it costs like 300 quid as well. It's just pretty snarly if I see so myself. It gives you a massive boost to like survivability, obviously, but having a medic and also could uh, compare. Yeah, it is indeed. So what could we do? I think I don't. You cannot sell your starting pistol. You can't. You'll need more money for that. I kind of want to check out this weapon. This looks absolutely insane. So let's sell this golden hand cannon. Literally, just it just takes two blocks of space, which is. Absolutely funny. So let's have a look. Let's buy this. And, uh, yeah, let's... Oh, look at the scope on this. Like, like I don't remember having with weapons back when, uh, when the game launched, you know, originally. I think this is probably like, well, added later on and during, you know, when they, after the development of the game. So we have like bolt ups running around, but those are useful for like commando classes. I think commando class is also a class that got released over time, possibly 2010 or who knows, you know. But yeah, we did did some Man future guns, updates boys. for this you game, like adding maps. Uh, I still do remember that. I'm not sure for how long because uh, you know I didn't stuck for long. Let's have a look at this. Alright. It's a big chilling weapon. I think I see some. Yeah. So. Oh, someone behind me. The reason as to why I'm just absolutely wrecking it is not only because of the difficulty, it's also I'm level 2 sharpshooter. So that added like headshot, you know, damage bonus as well on top of that. Having easy difficulty. But it's just absolutely fantastic to play, you know. It's very much doable to solo this, I think. As a uh an easy difficulty. Lots of lovely guns. Just waiting for you. It's just so satisfying to just pop the heads, you know. Also, this game has apps. Oh, there's armor. Tons of replayability. You just, you know, you just pop in, start, and go. Oh, it's one more. Boom. The shop is open, boys. Come get me. But yeah, the music is basically like just rock some, you know, some metal or, you know, some, something like that. And uh, it's not something, it's not my cup of tea, unfortunately, but, you know, it's it's still as long as it's still there. But it gets, it kind of can get repetitive at some point. That one's too big. You're joking, right? Your skin. I, su 
suppose we could guns don't grow on trees, go tree, for sweetie. this one eventually. You'll need more money for that one. Because uh, it does have some power, and it could probably gonna wreck. Uh, you know, the the final boss. I think he's called Patriarch or something. And you can drop money as well. A bit British Queen pounds. Yeah, it legit look like a, a real thing here. That is the Queen. That's how I actually, you know. Oh, and they kind of disappear as well. We don't that to happen. <laughs> that can happen. Uh, so wave four. Uh, can still that one's feel too like big for you, hun. Sell me something first. Keep. There's a dual MK23s. How good are those? They look pretty good Shame, as well. Shame, darling. But even you can't carry that much. Hmm. Well, yeah, this woman definitely has some, you know, some interesting uh, weapons, uh, well, references or sexual innuendo regarding like lamp. That's some good stuff I sold you. Put it to good use. Like, you know, big guns and whatnot. It just could be could be seen as a little bit cringe or, or corny, you know, lines, but what it's uh, what else? What else, what else? So, oh, this guy is the angry boy. I need to use my I think if I played this on normal difficulty, I probably would have been dead by now. So that's not corner my stuff in here. When it came to co-op, I think my favorite class was to play with a meta class, you know. I'm playing sharp for it. Kind of close to me. Showcase purposes, but uh, medic was just fun because you had also like a gun that can shoot heals, you know, which is fun. So when you see like someone's low HP, get him. lovely big guns, lovely big guns, you know, something like that. Those lines, just corny little lines there. Uh, so way five, uh, maybe not repaired just yet. They're coming! Oh, the oh, just oh, kind of glass with that scream. spawn on top of me. That's uh, the screamer. She be screaming, you know. The scope on this weapon does look pretty good. If you live long enough, I'll be here. I feel like when I buy that last weapon up there, I'm gonna probably just absolutely two-tap or something the final boss, I feel like. Yeah, he's got some like, weapons added in that update. Grab onto you like that. Not much you can move. Well, I'm ready and waiting. Watch where you are. That sounds very good as well. Obviously, the gold can is. It looks like your desert eagle. They're all dead. It's time to go shopping. It's time. Like solo play is not is not bad as well. Like if you wanna just you know, just uh, you know, burn some time or something. You know, it's uh, something to consider. You know. Oh well, you can catch these. There's a rifle. Oh, there's two of these guys. And yeah, I just absolutely one shot. Keeping these guys. So, the Patriarch should go, you know. And also to note. 
the, the bullet's cost for one of these is 250 pounds. So, uh, yeah. Also, in terms of, like, curves, I think there's, like, seven or something of them. So, you know, you can max one of them out and just keep playing the game, maxing others as well, you know? Like, you just you can just be doing that. But, uh... Still, at the end of the day, the game could be seen as rather repetitive, because, you know, you're just doing the same thing over and over. And, uh... Upgrading the the perks can be seen as a little repetitive as well, or grindy. Sorry, makes you feel like you're playing a freaking MMO. Something really big's coming. Still can't while you can. Something is big coming. That is the patriarch. That is the final boss. You know, and uh, I think he is has ability to has quite arsenal for him going on, you know, because he can go invisible, he can shoot a flamethrower, minigun, all that stuff, you know, and just absolutely destroy you. So we'll see. Alright, well, let's see it. You'll pay for what you've done. There he is. Usually he comes after you pretty much, but I'm pretty much all armored up and uh, I think it's coming from there. I can actually hear him. Uh, there he is. And that is it. One shot it. Yeah, he looks pretty, uh, pretty nasty. All right, so there it is. GG, you survived. Whee! So that's Killing Floor, you know? Great game. Omega oh, little 